Senior members of both squads gather for the coin toss. Lyle Sittler and Bobby Hahn represent Nebraska. Kenny Hatfield and Ronnie Cavanis represent Arkansas. Nebraska wins the toss of the coin and elects to receive. Arkansas takes the win. There are final handshakes, a long-awaited signal from the referee, and the 29th Cotton Bowl Classic is underway as big Glenn Ray Hines booms the opening kickoff into and out of the Nebraska end zone. From its own 20, Nebraska sends 154-pound Frank Solich up the middle, and All-America Ronnie Cavanis holds him to two yards. Sophomore quarterback Bob Churchich tries to go to the air, but Jim Finch counters him for a loss back to the 10. On third down, swings wide for six yards as Ken Hatfield makes the stop. Facing a stiff breeze, Ron Kirkland punts only 26 yards. And Hatfield fair catches. The exchange puts the Razorbacks in good field position at the Nebraska 42, and Freddie Marshall doesn't waste the chance. On first down, the Arkansas quarterback hits Jerry Lamb for 10 quick yards. Our isolation camera catches the finer points of the play and watch Lamb sideline polka. Jim Lindsay sweeps back to the left for seven and out of bounds at the Nebraska 25. Jack Brazel cracks for two as John Strohmeyer leads the defense. Marshall checks the defense, then calls on Brazel for two hard yards of tackle. Marshall keeps at left end, but Langston Coleman, one of four fine Cornhusker ends, holds him to two yards. It's back to the pass, but defensive pressure forces Marshall to throw too high for Bobby Crockett. On third down, more Nebraska pressure turns a pass into a run, and Marshall is finally stopped by Walt Barnes on the 14, short of a first down. Fourth and four, and this calls for kicking specialist Tom McNally, and a 31-yard field goal try. It's good. And it's Arkansas 3, Nebraska 0, early in the first period. Nebraska can't move with the kickoff, and Kirkland fronts for 36 yards. Hatfield's fair catch sets up a who's got the football sequence, with the ball changing hands three times on the next five plays. First, Brazel is swarmed under as the Nebraska middle defense continues unyielding. Marshall tries left end but is jolted by Barnes, fumbles, and Bill Johnson recovers for Nebraska at the Arkansas 44. And Frank Royals is an unhappy man. Arkansas gets it all back on the next play as Hatfield intercepts a Churchage pass on the 46. Brazel tries the middle again, but Mike Kennedy slams him down. Marshall fades to pass is jolted loose from the ball by Coleman, and Bernie McGinn recovers for Nebraska on the Arkansas 41. From here, Nebraska threatens the Razorback goal line with a strong inside running game. Sophomore Harry Wilson leads off with a five-yard ramble. 
Kent McLuhan gets eight more up the middle. And it's Wilson's turn for four more to the Arkansas 24. Two more plays lose one yard, but on fourth down, Solich weaves through the middle for a first down on the Arkansas 15. An offsides penalty sets Nebraska back, and Solich gets only two up the middle. Our slow motion camera catches Arkansas's fine pursuit on this play, as McLuhan goes wide with a swing pass, but Lloyd Phillips throws him for a two-yard loss to the 18. Another pass goes incomplete, and Churchich on fourth down is stopped for one yard by Cavaness and Bobby Roper. The threat is ended, and Arkansas takes a 3-0 lead into the second quarter. Now facing the wind, Arkansas tries to improve its field position. Marshall hits Lamb for a first down on the 30. Bob Burnett gets three yards up the middle and is swamped. Marshall looks for Burnett and hits him for two yards. But Nebraska is unyielding, and on fourth down, Bobby Nix pumps a 34-yarder to the Nebraska 31 as a crowded convoy of Razorbacks helps it along. From here, Nebraska suddenly moves for 69 yards and a touchdown as Churchitz leads the way with his passing. First, he hits Solich with a screen pass, and the plucky 154-pound fullback darts for three yards. A running play fails to gain, and Churchitz looks for Wilson, long, throws. And it's a 36-yard bomb down to the Arkansas 18. Jim Finch makes the saving tackle. On first down, McLuhan turns on the power for six hard yards. Hawn adds another yard at right tackle. Then, Wilson shows fullback power, breaking through two tacklers to the one-yard line. Here's the same play on the isolation rerun. Wilson, who gained 48 of the 69 yards in the drive, is given climax honors and breaks through left guard for the final yard. Duncan Drum kicks the extra point. And Nebraska takes a 7-3 lead into the halftime break. Now it's back to football as Larry Wahos kicks off to the Arkansas five-yard line. Kenny Hatfield returns it 16 yards. The Razorbacks, now playing catch-up, try to get things going with Burnett sweeping left end for three yards. It's Barnes on the tackle. Marshall swings around the left side for five. And Barnes again makes the stop. Still facing strong pressure from the Nebraska rushers, Marshall finds a gap in the Cornhusker secondary and nails Lindsay for 16 yards to near midfield. But the Nebraska defense stiffens again. First, Coleman crashes through and bats down Marshall's pass.
Then, Bill Howe throws Marshall for a six-yard loss. Nix punts 46 yards, and Solich gets back three to the Nebraska 24. Unable to move, Nebraska punts back. Hatfield, the nation's punt return champion, finds room for only a four-yard return. In slow motion, Marshall now goes to his air game and nails his favorite receiver, Jerry Lamb, for eight yards. Here it is again on our isolation camera. But a motion penalty rubs it all out. Marshall decides to go upstairs once more. Looking for Lamb again. Too long. Once again, Marshall throws. This time, Wahol stretches for a beautiful interception and returns to the Nebraska 47. After the running game sets up a first down, Churchich hits Jeter for eight more yards. The Cornhuskers threaten at the Arkansas 35. But the Razorbacks show how they led the nation in defense against scoring as they put up the stop sign. Lloyd Phillips pursues and stops Solich after a five-yard gain on second down. Then Tony Jeter juggles a third down pass out of bounds. In seven, Grum comes off the bench for a 48 yard field goal attempt, but the kick dribbles off short. The game enters the final period with Nebraska clinging to its seven to three lead. Two exchanges fail to change this margin, and as the sweeping clock becomes a stronger factor, Marshall takes the Razorback air game into the flat areas with ominous success. This one to Burnett for 14 yards. First down on the Nebraska 47. Then, penalty troubles strike the Razorbacks. Marshall runs wide, but a clipping penalty rubs it all out. Third and 26 on the Arkansas 32. Marshall hits Burnett for 17 big yards, but it all goes for naught as a delay penalty rocks the Razorbacks. So Nix punts 31 yards into the end zone and Nebraska tries its hand on offense. Wilson, the game standout runner, almost explodes all the way on the first play as he breaks tackle after tackle and rambles for 45 yards to the Arkansas 35. Only a short tackle by Billy Gray keeps Wilson from breaking the game wide open. Once again, Arkansas digs in. Cavanis stops Wilson after a one-yard gain. On third down, Solich runs wide, and Finch forces him to cut inside for no gain. A delayed penalty further jolts the Cornhuskers 
and Kirkland kicks into the end zone, setting up the drive that crowned 1964's National Collegiate Football Champions. Marshall, showing the fans his all-conference form, continues to probe the Nebraska flanks with passes. He connects to Lamb for 12 to the 32. The slow motion camera shows Marshall at his best as he fakes, looks, and then finds Burnett for another 11 yards to the Arkansas 43. The Razorbacks have now come alive and Burnett plugs inside for four yards. On third and six, Marshall, under pressure, throws quickly to the right flat, and Lindsey looks back just in time to take the throw and move for a first down on the Nebraska 43. Many thought this was the game's key play. Now with new momentum, Marshall calls another pass, but his protection breaks, and he scrambles beautifully for 10 more yards. Next in slow motion, it's Marshall to Lindsay, this time to the other side. The Fleet Arkansas wingback is all alone, and down the sideline he goes for 28 yards to the Nebraska five-yard line before Bill Johnson finally makes the stop. First and goal, Burnett punches for two to the three. Isolation camera zeroes in on tailback Bobby Burnett. He slashes the final three yards for the Razorback touchdown. A big score and a big celebration. McNally adds the kick, and Arkansas takes a 10-7 lead with less than five minutes left to play. Nebraska, now working against the clock, tries to get it back with passes from Churchich. At midfield, Arkansas's defense begins to tell. Williams smashing through on first down, a loss of nine. Undaunted, the poised Nebraska sophomore quarterback comes right back with a seven-yard throw to McLuhan. On third down, Freeman White comes wide on the end around play, but the quick Razorbacks contain him, and it's no game. Now it's fourth down, 12 yards to go. Churchich fades for a desperation throw, but Williams barrels in and whirls him down. It's a big fourth down play, and now Arkansas has possession with only seconds remaining. Arkansas stalls out the remaining time as Frank Broyles anxiously watches the clock. He looks. He waits. It's over. And it's Arkansas 10, Nebraska 7 as much of the population of the Razorback State swarms onto the field. There are yells and hugs and repeated shots that claim, we're number one, we're number one. This claim later to be recognized when the Football Writers of America vote the Razorbacks winners of the Grantland Rice Trophy, symbolic of the nation's finest college football team. It's the second time in as many years that the winner of this game has also been acclaimed the national champion. And so another sparkling chapter is added to the history of the Cotton Bowl Classic. For the University of Arkansas, the brightest day in the football history of the school.